bitch. Shut up, straight to a penthouse, Miami Beach. Hey, yo. Talk crazy on tweets. Who? They don't want it cause I come to defeat. They don't want it. I peep, they need a thousand sweet. Wee. Bamboo sticks out on the cheap. <laughs> it's a new weirdo every week. Weirdo. Get the work, put it up for my seeds. Put it up. No pen for the IG, this no cheap. Do anything for club. Do anything, do anything for club. Do anything for club. What is up, A team? Welcome, welcome back to my channel. I am coming at you again with that top tier content. It's an exam video, okay? So I know that a huge portion of my subscriber base are students right now, and as we all know, it is exam season. So I thought this video would be really useful. Um, as you guys know, I am a law student, so this video will be specifically suited for law students. But I am pretty sure that any student can apply some of these tips and still succeed. You get me? So anyone can watch this video, and it is for university and high school students. So if you're either one of those, carry on watching, okay? So, because this video might just reach a broader, you know, group of people, let me tell you something about myself. So, I am in my fifth year of university. I go to the University of Cape Town and I'm doing my second degree right now. My first degree was in philosophy. Right now, I'm doing a law degree, as I've mentioned before. And, child, it took me the longest time to figure out effective study methods for myself because humanities and law are completely, they're intertwined. But the way you study for them and the way they're tested is very, very different. So, I just thought that this video would be really useful for someone who doesn't know how to study yet or study effectively. Because there's no time to mess around, guys. Like, this is it. I don't know about you guys, but for me, this is my intermediate year, which means that I'm using these results to apply for prospective jobs. And I want a good job. Chat, I don't know about you, but I'm not suffering at UCT. Just, be, like, just to end up in a really mediocre position. Like, I'm so sorry about it, but it's just not going to be me. So yeah, I'm really, really stressed, but I hope that this video helps out someone because it took me a while to get my ducks in a row, but I have them in a row, kinda, right now. So let me just impart the knowledge, right? So yeah, I've separated this video in segments to make it easier for you. I've got tips, I've got ways of studying, I've got all sorts of different things in this video. And I just want to say that the most important thing out of all of this is just planning. The planning needs to be meticulous separating your notes needs to be meticulous because studying is the easy part it's trying to put everything in their compartments that is the hard part so yeah um i also feel like if you haven't started studying depending on when your exam starts please don't start studying like two days before or a day before like because if you fuck around <laughs> you're gonna find out as you can see the more you fuck around the more you're gonna find out we're doing things properly and effectively and just trying to do our best her. So if you guys enjoy this video, I will be away off this video for like a week or two because obviously exams, but I'll be back soon. So don't worry about sweetheart, don't worry about a sweetheart. And I just want to say good luck to every single person writing exams. You got this, we got this. It will end in distinctions and yeah, things will be fine. And I believe in you guys, you got this. Without further ado, let's get into the video. First things first, I'm the realist. Okay, no, I'm joking. The first thing I did was take a trip onto takealot.com and I bought a few exam prep things. I bought a bunch of um, face masks because self-care, first and foremost. Of course, I bought some Red Bull, my favorite energy drink ever, but I do feel like I'll be traumatized when I'm done with uni. Um, I bought some snacks. I bought like a whole stack of mini cheddars. Um, I like cheddars. I bought highlighters. I bought um, plastic sleeves. I bought um, a notebook because I write in a notebook when I study. Funny story about the plastic sleeves. They were 80 rand and I was like, why are plastic sleeves 80 rand? Just to find that there's like 100 inside. So I guess I have plastic sleeves for the rest of my life now. <laughs> Anyways. The first thing I do is file and organize my notes neatly so that when I start studying, everything is easy for me to find. Um, I do a topic list. I separate things according to color in folders and put them neatly according to first or second semester. I find it really important to put everything on the front page in terms of which cases I have to learn, which prescribed readings and all of that. And I just find it really helpful in terms of my organization. So period would recommend. 
So how I study, especially for very content-based courses like criminal law, is to put all the prescribed cases for that topic on the front page and then I separate my notes according to topic. So basically, we're separating notes down to the T here from semester to week to actual topic that way it's easier to kind of compartmentalize in my head and another thing that's really important is that I put all the cases for a specific course in one booklet because I like to just reference easily so would recommend that especially if you're doing um, law because you're going to have a lot of cases and it's just easy to separate it that way so the next thing is Anki um, it's just scientifically proven that if you use flashcards and remember things rather than cram them that you'll obviously retain the information longer so Anki is a really good app this is not sponsored by the way I wish it was so I do flashcards first to see how much I can remember of the actual course and then I go ahead and fill in the blanks that's a very effective way to study rather than just writing something out and then studying it like a book so yeah please 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 aim for memory retention rather than just cramming and it's more fun if you do the flashcards thing so i would recommend anki along with anki i write down and fill in the blanks in a blank not a blank book but a, a spare notebook as you can see the handwriting in here is not cute whatsoever because it really is my spare book and i'm just here to write notes okay I really also believe in color coding for all the courses where I have where I'm allowed to bring in um, statutory law I definitely bind all the acts and I color code them according to how I study so that in the exam I'm there just to look at quick references and everything's where I need it to be because in exams you don't have time to be buffering okay another thing I really would recommend and this is what I do all the time I live by this guys I promise you I like watching Merv. I will link it down below if you're interested. I like watching Merv because there's a timer on screen and you can study along with someone. I find that studying along with someone really does help me because I don't go to the library much. I do go and I need some focus, but most of all, I study in my apartment. So I really do recommend watching study, study with me sessions from Merv, like I recommend. Of course, drink some water. Have your bioplast, not too much though. Have your energy drinks. Do whatever you need to do to give you the source and the energy. And but just be careful though, because it can get really shady really quickly. I <laughs> um, also recommend putting down every single one of your courses, um, all the exams, the dates, the times, location, seat number, all of that, somewhere next to you, so that you can wake up and look at it every morning. Another thing I really do recommend also is to go and study somewhere else other than school other than your apartment or res or whatever it is because it really helps to be somewhere completely different also pick something that is comfortable for you because you don't want to be somewhere where you're uncomfortable but also i do believe that sometimes you should be somewhere where you're not really comfortable because you have no like you have no other choice but to work so that's why i go to starbucks sometimes i actually prefer to study in coffee shops more than campus i don't know campus gives me the motivation i need but it also makes me very anxious because there's so many people just studying and i feel like oh my word i'm overwhelmed whereas starbucks you just see random people like unrelated to the course you're doing at school living their lives and that's why i prefer coffee shops but just go anywhere you feel like going okay Another thing I recommend, please do take frequent breaks, whether it's a walk, whether you play games, whatever you like to do for fun, please do that because exam season is not only about, you let me push my hardest, it is, but it's also about resting your brain as much as you can. I like playing games on my phone personally, I like watching YouTube videos, that's my favorite thing to do, like I do it at the same time. I like playing PlayStation. I don't like going for walks. I'm not even gonna lie. I was trying to be all cute. I like going for walks. No, I don't. I do not like going for walks. But yeah, guys, um, that is what I recommend to do. Please, please, please. The first thing is planning. Without planning, 
I'm sorry, but I, I don't know what you're doing without planning. That's why my planning process is very intricate, very much focused because I really do believe in that. Also, another important thing, please don't forget what I said about um, using flashcards and filling in the blanks rather than cramming because I found this really helped me to before I even start studying just fill in what I know about the section because in that way I already know what I know if you get what I mean and I can just fill in what I don't know rather than just reading a whole page and it's like what is this honey you get me but yeah if you have any more questions please don't hesitate to comment them down below and I'd love to hear you guys' tips if you have extra tips for me and yeah